Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Haley, and I'm back. This video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm in my PJ pants still, so whatever. I just hit myself in the face. Love that. So this video is going to take a whole week to film, and it's for Mental Health Awareness Month. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I am a big, big advocate for mental health. I suffer from mental health, anxiety, depression. Oh. But this video is not gonna be sad. I don't want it to be. Um, mental health is all about, you know, struggling, but there are ways that you can better your mental health and that's what this video is going to be about i wanted to make some type of video for mental health awareness month because i like i said before am a strong advocate for mental health and i want people to know mental health is real and if you're suffering from it you should get help or contact anybody you feel comfortable contacting you can do things by yourself that will help your mental health but i've always found it to always do something that has made me feel better by talking to somebody but if that's not your cup of tea you don't have to you can find many other ways to treat your mental health or help your mental health and that's what this video is today i'm starting to do one thing each day for my mental health that i suffer from anxiety really badly I don't want to make a joke of mental health, but also sometimes I get uncomfortable talking about stuff like this because I cope by making jokes. So that's one of the ways that I can like get myself in order. But we're not here to joke. We might be here to joke, but I'll try my best. I'm going to give you background information about my issue is I've always kind of suffered from anxiety from, you know, being passed down I guess from generations and I've always just suffered from anxiety it's always been in my life maybe not as strong as it has been in the past but now it's really strong and it really got bad in 2016 when I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma so it got super bad I had really bad panic attacks um, I'd have anxiety literally over anything so anytime I get sick with anything, I really go to a place that I don't enjoy staying at. It's not a great vacation spot. That's really like my major thing. Um, and when I was in 2016, 2017, when I was having really, really bad time with treatment and stuff, I kind of started getting depressed. I wasn't diagnosed with depression, but I could tell what I was feeling was not great in light of all of that this week we'll be doing things that i do for my mental health now i want to preface this video in that i am just one person who suffers from mental health and i do not do the same things for mental health that someone might or someone you know might do these are just all things that I like to do for my mental health or I find that helps me. So that might not be for you, but there are many other ways that you can try. I've been talking for six minutes, which is going to be terrible editing this. So I will see you guys later when I decide what I'm going to do today. This bitch is getting started today. Okay let's go hey this is editing Haley, and i just want to say before this video it's probably gonna be really long but i encourage you to watch the whole thing because it can really be beneficial to learn ways to improve your mental health so that's all i have to say subscribe and like and do all that fun stuff enjoy the rest of the video something i like to do a lot for my mental health is sit outside i'm in my backyard right now I love to be outside. Sometimes I like to get out of the house because I get cabin fever and that hurts my brain. For today, I am gonna come outside and hang outside for a little bit and read. I am on Harry Potter, Half-Blood Prince, the sixth book in the series. I'm so close to finishing. And yeah, that's my mental health assignment. It's not an assignment. 
because we need to prioritize mental health but it is what i'm going to do today so yeah i'm excited Woo. Today I had something else planned, but last minute me and my friend Rachel, she's been on my channel before, you guys all love her. I'm gonna go meet Rachel for lunch today and it should be a good time and my mental health shall be better for it. And she just recently graduated, yeah! I actually made her this. If you don't know what this means, she is obsessed with Jake Miller and this is his cover to his Silver Lining album. I wrote, I'm so proud of you. This is what she originally wanted to do on her graduation cap, but she couldn't, so I painted it for her. I'm gonna go see her and have lunch at the new Shake Shack. Fun! So I just got back from hanging out with Rachel and I'm gonna be super transparent with you guys <sighs> I've had really bad anxiety all day something that goes along with my specific anxiety is that Anytime I get sick or something out of the ordinary happens my mind goes to a place I don't really like. I get really scared about that stuff. Um, I'm being transparent because I think people should know that, you know, their feelings are valid. And yeah, that's all I'm feeling. So I was going to do some homework today, but I may just hang out with my cat, watch some TV, calm down. And that's sometimes what I do to calm my anxiety is distract myself, my cat, because she is a comforting thing in my life. So, here she is. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm drinking some water and just kind of chilling out. So yeah. I've been sitting in my room watching The Office for a little bit and I'm realizing that I cannot sit still right now because my thoughts will just keep going if I sit still. So something else I like to do when I, I don't know why my hood was up, but something else I like to do when I'm feeling anxious or for a matter just crazy and like need to do something, I clean, I organize. See, all my stuff is still sitting out and um, I'm somebody who really likes my stuff organized. So we're gonna clean up a little bit and watch TV. So yeah. This is a terrible angle, but this is a good point to mention this I have to take pills every day um, from a lot of different things that have happened to me in the past and this is a good just thing to mention like take your pills if you have to take pills and you forgot this is me reminding you um, there's a lot of stigma around pills and I think that if it helps you and it gets the job done and it is something that you want to do I say more power to you because it can be super helpful and just find out what works for you talk to your doctor that's my suggestion but take your pills don't forget them because that's never good <laughs> best investment I've ever made truly hey guys so it's Wednesday and usually something that I do for my mental health is shop I know my wallet is crying the tea is shopping can make you feel better I usually feel really good when I shop and you know treat myself as one would say but today was a little more stressful the reason why shopping today was hard is because we're going to a bachelorette party and it's kind of hard to shop for a bachelorette party when like you know you can get stuff that is like 
more spicy, you feel me? I was just having a difficult time and I was trying to text my sister and ask her what she thinks and then I was just having a difficult time. But nonetheless, I did enjoy shopping even though I'm sweating bullets. I did buy myself a couple things for myself to, you know, raise my spirits if that's how you want to put it. Oh shit. I got some bralettes and I got a new assignment notebook and I got Taylor Swift on vinyl. Okay, that's all I have to say. I mean, I'm probably gonna do something else because this was t a tad stressful. I thought I would let you in since I'm making this video. So, see you on the flip side. Hey guys, so it is 10 16 at night. I've been doing homework for like most of my day. Finally, I'm gonna do my mental health care even though it's late because we cannot forget about fixing our brains. I think I'm gonna take a bath and relax my muscles, maybe do like a face mask or something, and basically just doing a long night routine before I pass out in my bed. I'm gonna read this magazine about Game of Thrones. Did you guys watch the ending? I did. I must be like the only person who likes the show, so I thought it was good. Y'all, I've had such bad sore muscles this past week, so this bathtub, excuse my language, feels fucking fantastic. <laughs> doing this honestly like I don't know what it really does but I feel good it's Thursday my dudes so today I have a doctor appointment <sighs> yeah I'm not happy about it either it's absolutely disgusting out but after my doctor appointment I have therapy and that's gonna be my mental health thing for today so we love therapy I like therapy you don't have to go to therapy if it's not your cup of tea, but it's something that I would recommend trying at least once. Hey guys, it's Friday. I look like a bum on a log, so that's cool. Today I actually had another doctor's appointment. Today, my sister is coming home and her husband is coming home. So hopefully today, my mental health thing will be just hanging out with family. We might have a fire, but if not, I'll figure something else out. I've been doing homework since I got home from the doctor's at like 1, 2-ish p.m. So I'm tired, but I will figure out a way to put in my mental health for today. I never forget it. Hey guys, so it's Sunday, Saturday. I forgot to record an intro for Saturday. And basically what we did is we went to a bachelorette party. Um, so actually pretend this is Saturday. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Saturday Now today's Sunday and I've been tired from spending a lot of time at the bachelor party and today was the bridal shower so that is just like a fun weekend to do and then i'm just gonna relax and be with my family for this fine mental health rejuvenation and 
I will tell you my final thoughts at the end. Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, it is 12.30 a.m. It's officially Monday. So that means I finished my mental health awareness whole week of treating myself. I don't really have a title for it, but work in progress. Since it's Monday and the week's over, I thought I'd talk about, you know, my experience and how, you know, I think it turned out. Saturday and Sunday, both were very hard days for me to like film because I was with a lot of people. I was constantly doing something. Um, but I tried to get as much film as possible just to let you guys know I had the most fun at the bachelorette party and the bridal shower and everything was really fun and exciting and I'm really happy I got to celebrate with her. Just because I didn't put every single thing that I did doesn't mean that it didn't help my mental health at all because that would be false. It really helped my mental health. So yeah, not only did I go to a bridal shower today, yesterday, Sunday, whatever, but I played cards with my family, I hung out with them and you know, that's enough for me. Yeah, I just wanted to let you updated on like the last couple days because it's kind of been confusing and I forgot to film part of it, so, and that's on me. Basically, I wanted to give an overall like ending to like how I feel at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I will say that I do feel rejuvenated and like I really focused on myself this week. I had a lot of schoolwork that I had to do and I'm proud of myself that even though I had schoolwork and you know things that I could have been doing I fit in time for myself and to reflect and just to do things that were good for me and my my health and um, so I'm really proud of myself for doing that I know that like taking a bath at like 10 15 was not the greatest move but I'm still glad I prioritized myself even if it was late. I think making this video is just making me realize that mental health is not easy because I was, you know, going every day and I'm like, damn, what am I gonna do today? Or like, I was thinking about it too much. So like, I was overthinking, which just caused me to be more anxious. So like, you can't force it. Like, I always tell people to feel what they feel because if you don't feel what you feel, you just bottle it in and you kind of drive yourself crazy. So I'd be sitting here being hypocritical if I told you that all these things in this video is like, cures my anxiety. It doesn't, not even close. These things are just something that I use to cope with my anxiety and cope and cure, very two different words. I want people to take away from this video that, you know, that, a lot of people are suffering from mental health. You are not alone. Sounds cheesy, but it's true. I think at the end of the day, ask your friends if they're okay. Check in with the people that you love. Let them know that you love them. And just like, be kind. <laughs> Kindness can go a long way, believe me. And just don't judge somebody before you get to know them because every story is different, I'm sure that you've experienced something. I know I've experienced judgment based on like looks or whatever. Don't do that. Don't be an asshole. Overall, this experience was really enlightening because it made me realize how little time we have in a day and like trying to fit in like time for yourself is so important. So just don't forget about yourself and fit that shit in. I really like doing this. I'm definitely going to try to continue to do things for my mental health. There are some things that I didn't show in this video. I play guitar, I journal, I literally just hang out with my cat. I sometimes watch like Disney movies or movies that I really, really like. I'll just like listen to music and blast music. Sometimes I'll just drive somewhere with my camera. You know, there's a lot of different things. It's really based on your personality and what you like to do. So just find your niche and then, you know, try it out and if it doesn't work, move on to something and try again um just don't give up on that because that can take you to a dark place and nobody wants to be in a dark place 
I think we all want to find some type of light. This is like a low-key date video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it and coming up with this idea. I haven't seen this idea, so I was excited to share this for mental health awareness. I hope you guys liked it and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. I know this video was so long, so if you made it all the way here, you might as well hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I will see you guys next time I make something.